Welcome back to Toast on the Coast. We're here with Melissa Christensen, one of our rock star agents. I'm John Curry with Realty World Curry Properties. And when I see Melissa, I see and I feel energy. Mm. You have all this energy. You know, I thought I had a lot of energy until I met Melissa and I realized that she trumps me on energy. Mm. Do you drink coffee? No. Mm -mm. I don't either. I don't. Really? You drink what? other things, I'm but sorry. so do I. I mean, I do too sometimes. Yeah. But you know, you always have this yeah. natural, Thank you. positive energy mm -hmm. and there's something else that you do, right? What else do you do besides a real estate agent that you do for? Um, I'm a fitness instructor. Fitness instructor. Yeah. That's yes, why you've yes. got energy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So that's been 12 years, you know, just wow. instructing. I teach at South Beach Fitness, a little plug for them. And they have so many classes and it just, I love it so much. Awesome. So much. That's a morning, afternoon thing? What do you do? Mostly mornings right now, but sometimes night classes. Cool. And yeah, it's it pumps me up. So that's your coffee. Yeah, that's my coffee. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Melissa's been with us for a few years now. Um, I'm going to just ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. How many years have you been in real estate? Four. Going on four, four already. Four years. Boom. It seems like four years is like magical. I don't know what it is Ooh. about four years, but uh, we were talking with one of the other agents, and she's been in business four years, too. Mm -hmm. um, can I ask you some personal questions? Yeah, please. I'm just, I'm not going to ask you personal questions. Go, go. I want it. I'm ready. I'm We've ready. got some other questions yes, we're going to ask yes. you. Um, so... What attracted you to come work with Realty World Curry Properties? What was uh, okay. that attraction? Okay, well, I'm going to explain to some people, like, when you get your license, you're inundated. You're inundated. You get you get letters, you get postcards, you get phone calls, and everyone's like, come work with this, come work with this. And it's just like, you're overwhelmed. You don't even know what to do. You feel like you're going to you're gonna mess up. You're going to choose the wrong brokerage. And it's a lot of pressure. Um, and I didn't really understand that. Really, you, me, you choose the brokerage, right? I didn't understand that. Um, and so one day I was talking to my sister and I had gone to a lot of interviews. I had gone to several different places and I'm just like, they don't, I don't like it. I don't feel good. It doesn't feel like the right place for me. And she's like, let me ask you this. If you could choose where to go, if you could choose the place that you wanted to work, where would you choose? And I immediately said, Curry Properties, you know? And she's like, okay, why? And I said, well, I see the signs all over town. I know they're successful. I know they're big. I know they have reputation in our community and they're less than a mile from my house. Bingo, you know? And she goes, well, then go there. And I'm like, no, they didn't send me an invitation. They didn't ask me to come. And I, she was like, so what? They want you to work there. And I go, how do you know? And she's like, trust me, they want you to work there. You know? And so she goes, call, make an appointment and go there. And so I was very scared. I was like terrified, but I got a hold of, I, I sent an email. I wouldn't even call. I sent an email over and- Who answered it? Janie, Janie responded to okay, me. Okay, she did, yep. And um, she set it up the next day and I went and I was super scared. And um, so- I parked, I walk in, there's like these dolphins out there. And it's like, you know, we have this really cool, we have a cool building, you right. know, it's very, it's very um, uh, beachy. public, beachy. Public, yeah. mm -hmm. I walked in, opened the glass doors and I stepped inside over the threshold and like, felt it. I felt it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally felt it. It didn't hurt that Mike um, was in the, um, the little, our conference room right, right, right there right. and yeah. we know each other and he's like, what? Oh, uh, okay. But anyway, my point is, and what I want to tell the people that are thinking about real estate and um, that you will know, you will know the brokerage just as you know the home that's for you. It doesn't matter if you look the first home you see and you have that feeling and you know this is your home, you will know the same thing about the brokerage that you choose. And I just, I felt very at peace and that this was my home. Awesome. Well, we love having you. <laughs> Thanks. You bring so much joy to our office. Um how has being an agent helped you grow as a person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Has it? Oh, oh it has. yes. Okay, good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it helps you grow because if you really want to thrive and you want to, you know, keep expanding your SOI, sphere of influence, right? right. Which I definitely do. It's, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. Um, it keeps you creative. It keeps me creative, like creative ideas and creative marketing ideas. And it makes me... I have to say yes to things. It makes me want to say yes. Because lots of times I want to say no. And I want to stay home on the couch. And I want to just sit and snuggle all of my dog. Right. <laughs> and I really just want to do that. I don't want to do it. But then but then it's like it encourages you to say yes to things that maybe you wouldn't do normally. It just encourages me to get outside of my comfort zone. And every time I do it, I'm, I'm usually rewarded. And it's really a fun time. And it just helps you to grow as a person. That's great. So you have you have do you consider yourself an extrovert or introvert? I have this thing called GTG, okay, and it's got to go. Like I'll show up at places and I can't. I'm like counting the minutes till I can leave. 
Oh. And it's like, it's a problem. And I'll, I'll just admit it right here. Like, I have GTG. My friends know it. They're like, put your purse down. Put your purse away. We're staying. You're staying. So I just, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter where I'm at. Even if I'm having a good time, I'm sort of like in the back of my head, when can I leave? Get out of here. Okay. Now, do you, are you an Irish exit person? Do you know what that means? Mm, Like just leave without saying anything. Right. I've done it a time or two, but I try not to do that. I don't Okay, good. So you don't do that anymore? No, I don't do that. Okay. We, (laughs) no, no. As real estate agents, we recommend that you say goodbye to people. Mm -hmm. Say thank you. Be gracious. No, it's, it's helped me just relax and just enjoy the moment and just stay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Um, GTG, GTG, I that. got okay. to go, got to, got to go, yeah. got to mm-hmm, go. Mm-hmm. Um, what attracted you to become a real estate agent and not do what you were doing before? You know, what is, what, what is I was it? doing before was just uh, raising four children, you know, and I was always doing jobbies. Jobbies are hobbies that pay. Okay. Okay. And I have done so many fun jobbies and I've had a great life raising our four children. And I was always had in my mind, like I wanted to. I always knew I wanted to be a real estate agent, but I was like, the timing's not right. The timing's not right. I got to get these kids out of the house. I got to get them on their own. I got to, you know, once I raise all the kids, then I'm like, I know I want a career and it's my time. You know, did the kids ever leave the house? They did, but then they came back. We have more kids at home now than we've ever had, you know, but it's, it's a blast, you know? So I finally made the move. And the reason I wanted to do real estate is because I, I really love people. I love serving people. I love thrilling people and making them happy. And like, there is literally no bigger thrill in life, admit this if it's true, than helping someone find their dream home, than helping someone sell a property and move on to their next dream. It's like, it's a, it's a huge, it's a rush and it's such a, it's such a joy to um, help people with that journey. Awesome. You know, it, I, I never fully thought of it. It's, it's a big win, right? Yes. So it's, it's, a, it, it's exhilarating, right? Mm-hmm. For you, for the client. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, because it's a, it's a, it's a, a stopping point and a starting point yes. of a new life. Yeah, a lot of times, yeah, right? It so really it's uh, yeah, it's 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 really um, rewarding in a lot of aspects of it. It is. Um, well, that's good. So you're you feel like you're in the career that you've always wanted to be in. Yeah, right. It's fair to say. Yeah, it's fair to say. Good. It's absolutely fair to say. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're not putting your notice in next week. Uh, no. Okay. No, good. No. no, no, no. <laughs> you're no, you're going to stay a real estate agent. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. A lot of people ask me like, "Do you wish you would have done it earlier?" Yeah. You know. And I mean, there you could say. Yeah, I wish I would have started earlier, but on, at the same time, what would I change? What would I have done differently? Do you know what I mean? So um, just enjoying it very much. And I, we have to, we must admit that not every single time you sell a home, is it a happy occasion? Right. You know, there's, there's, there's a whole lot of emotions involved and, and trauma sometimes, you know, and ups and downs. And I feel like I'm a very good guide and a good listener and, and can read people fairly well. And so. Awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool. Mm-hmm. Just a couple more here. Why? Should someone hire you as a real estate agent? What is, what makes Melissa so awesome? Well, I think my work ethic will blow their mind. Okay. You know, I'm not afraid to get down and dirty, not afraid to do whatever it takes to help them and serve them. And also we'll have a good time doing it. I promise you that it'll be very good. My communication skills are a number one. Okay. Agreed. All right. Totally agreed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've had so many people just tell me that, wow. She's so awesome. She made me feel so comfortable. She's so organized. Um, I know we've teamed up on a lot of listings together. And it's just people are just enamored with how on point you are. Um, and it's just, it's it's awesome. It really is. And it's, uh, Thank you. Uh, it just, it really gives people a long lasting and positive impression for sure. Um, I like this one the best probably. Hmm. What is one thing you've learned that you wish you knew when you started. So uh-huh, you go back and uh-huh. say. Yeah, I think what I learned, John, is that, um, and this is what I tell other people thinking about it, you know, it's like, I really didn't need to wait. You know what I mean? My sister's like, just do it. What are you waiting for? You're going to be so awesome. It's, I was intimidated. I got to admit, I got to admit, I was yeah. scared. I was scared. You know, you're scared of failure. So what? Doesn't matter. So what? Just try it, whether it's real estate, whether it's it's any opportunity. I mean, just say, yes, we're only here. This is our one life, one shot. Mm-hmm. So I just wish, like, go for it. Who cares? I mean, some of my ideas fail. Some of the stuff I do is really lame, you know, and some of it's a huge win. And so I just, I wish I would have just been, like, not quite so scared. So do you think that even when you first started real estate, would you say even, the, like, the first six months or a year or whatever, like, you you didn't really jump in because you were kind of like 
No. I jumped in when I finally did do it. Yeah. And um, and you were very, very helpful. You were a very good mentor. And you you invited me to help do some deals quite immediately, you know. Um, I felt like you got to go for it very fast. I think go. Go hard. You know, go hard. Go to all the trainings, as many trainings as possible. Go to all your, you know, company trainings and just say, just go to the open houses. Jump in with both feet in. Got it. Do it. Perfect. Okay. Sink or swim, right? Mm -hmm. Are you swimming? I'm swimming. You are swimming. You're on top of the water. Swimming. Back floating. Well, thanks for joining us. We like to take real estate agents and turn them into team leaders and team leaders into their own brokers here. We believe that you are your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You're running your own real estate business, and we're just here to support you. Well, thanks for joining in. This is Toast on the Coast. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.